China. Mr. Timmons is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Ingram, first off, I want to commend you for the phenomenal way you have served your community through some really difficult times the last few years. It's truly inspiring, and I want to thank my friend, Ranking Member Emmer, for inviting you to testify before the subcommittee today. 2020 was very challenging. I mean, it was just one of the most challenging years we faced, uh, and there's no reason to sugarcoat it. The pandemic and the resulting economic downturn paired with the social unrest happening all at the same time was rough on all of us but especially for the Twin Cities. Um, I wanna pick up where Mr. Emmer left off. You talked about how your business has had to reinventing the role of a prosecutor from a government official who supports and enforces the rule of law to an official that gets to cherry pick which laws are worth enforcing. Prosecutors and said, how do you let the person that robbed me and has a, a track record, I believe he had 50 priors, and he's out within 24 hours? You don't even give me a heads up. I've posted on social media his pictures of him breaking into my restaurants. Maybe he's now coming for me or my family uh, because he's angry with us. We're, we're petrified, I believe, within the Twin Cities that these criminals are being released. Yeah, and now maybe we're the victim another time. For sure they come back to our business and rob us again. So in that instance, I mean, best practice across the country, victim advocates reached least. Did yep. that occur? It did not occur. It occurred, I believe I got notified about forcing the rule of law right now. We're not going to have a city to return to. So yes, we could, we could leave. We've thought about it. But what does that do to our community? And what does it do to the people that we love and we want to serve? Sure. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you being here. And I think the pendulum swings back often. And we need to enforce the rule of law. We need to keep people safe. That's just very basic to the, form of the, the rule of law and government. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Garcia, is now recognized for five minutes. Mr. Garcia, you are now recognized for five minutes. Mr. Garcia, if you can hear me, would you wave? Okay, we understand that you may be having some technical difficulties. With this understanding, Mr. Garcia, we will work with you to eliminate those difficulties. And uh, in the interim, the gentlewoman from Texas, Ms. Garcia, who is also the vice chair of the Subcommittee on Diversity and Inclusion, is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and 